Join the Transformer Society Club today. Maximus back with another Kids Corner review. This time we're taking a look at another Transformers Rescue Bots figure and it's from the Energize line and it's Boulder. So I get this figure uh, from fellow Transformers fan Kevin on one of the Transformers Facebook pages. I think it was CybertronCafe.com. So Kevin, thank you sir. I do appreciate the figure. Um, and you know, this is an interesting little line. I've seen these in the store, and I really kind of like them. I like the translucent blue. They're very uh, nice, sturdy, durable toys for younger kids, and I do appreciate that. So here we have Boulder, who is the bulldozer of the group, and it's a very interesting figure. Uh, I, I like it. It's kind of got a Constructicon feel to it. Um, very massive front gate. The thing rolls really, really, really well, and it's got a good mold to it. Um, we see Boulder's head there, but that's okay. Um, this is actually missing a weapon that's supposed to mount on here. I think it's supposed to be a drill. It's kind of a translucent piece, but that's okay. I don't mind. Uh, just kind of a close-up of the figure itself. Um, really nice molded detail in here. I love, love the dark translucent blue. I think that looks really cool. Um, got the nice teeth. Uh, nice paint apps here. I like how it's paint and not actual stickers. Um, we've got the caution strip up here as well. We've got the little uh, blue painted uh, window here, some lights at the top, very nice. Got some bars, the treading, everything is really, really nice. Of course, we can see the uh, robot hands here in the translucent blue, but that's okay. Not too bad. We even have detail underneath, which is really, really nice. Now, to transform him, you simply pull the legs down, and there he is in his robot mode. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Pretty simplistic transformation, but again, remember, this is a kid's toy. Um, it is very durable. It does not feel like it's going to break at any point in time. Um, but there's not much articulation to the guy at all. In fact, he has no articulation. This is pretty much the robot. Um, but again, that's okay. This is a little kid's toy. Uh, to transform it back, you simply push in, and there it is. So yeah, definitely cool stuff. For size comparison, here's Energize Boulder next to Energize Heatwave. Here is Boulder next to BotCon 2010 Cindersore. Here's Energize Boulder next to Rescue Dinobot Boulder. Here he is next to Transformers Armada Laserbeak. And finally, here he is next to Transformers Robots in Disguise Steeljaw. So is Energize Boulder a figure that you want in your collection? Well, if you've got a young child, absolutely. This is a great Autobot to add to his collection or her collection. It's tough. It's fun looking. The translucent blue is cool. And it's just very, very durable. And it's a Constructobot. How awesome is that? Um, if you are a serious, serious collector of Transformers and have to have everything under the sun, or you just like the construction vehicles, this is definitely a figure that you would like. Um, he's pretty much the bulkhead of the team, in my opinion, from the few episodes I've seen. Uh, and he's definitely a core member of the show. So, like or hate the show, there is Boulder from the Energize series. So thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, thumbs it up. If you hate this video, thumbs it down. Definitely subscribe to my channel, share my videos, add a comment down below. Do your kids have this figure? What do they think of it? And as always, look for more videos in the future.